As early as 2003, the National Academy of Sciences Planetary Decadal Survey strongly recommended that the visit to Pluto include flybys of small Cooper Belt objects KBOs. Observing multiple targets would provide greater insight into the previously unexplored segment of the solar system. New Horizons launched in 2006 with extra fuel for such a flyby, and its power and communications systems are prepared to work at distances beyond Pluto's orbit for years to come. In 2011, mission scientists used ground-based telescopes to begin searching for a second target, but none of the new discoveries were within the reach of New Horizons. In 2014, the Hubble Space Telescope joined the search, locating five potential objects. One of them was 2014 Micron 69, which was labeled 1110113Y after its June 26, 2014, discovery and also called PT-1, potential target 1 after its elevation to one of two possible destinations. In August 2015, the New Horizons team selected 2014 Micron 69 as its next potential target. 2014 Micron 69 is a great choice because it is just the kind of ancient KBO, formed where it orbits now, that the Decadal Survey desired us to fly by, Stern said in a statement. Moreover, this KBO costs less fuel to reach than other candidate targets, leaving more fuel for the flyby, for ancillary science, and greater fuel reserves to protect against the unforeseen. MU69 lies about 1 billion miles. 1.6 billion kilometers, beyond Pluto. In 2017, the New Horizons team requested suggestions from the public for a nickname for the KBO as part of an outreach campaign. The final decision, Ultima Thule, is a term used in medieval times that means beyond the known world. The nickname was submitted by about 40 different people, NASA officials said. MU69 is humanity's next Ultima Thule, Stern said when the name was announced. The nickname spurred controversy because of its historical use by Nazi forerunners and modern use by extremist groups. However, the New Horizons team decided to stick with the nickname despite the potentially negative connection. I've said it a number of times, I think New Horizons is an example, one of the best examples in our time, of raw exploration, and the term Ultima Thule, which is very old, many centuries old, possibly over a thousand years old is a wonderful meme for exploration, Stern said after the flyby. That's why we chose it. I would say that just because some bad guys once liked the term, we're not going to let them hijack it. However, in November 2019, mission team members announced that the official name of 2014 Micron 69 would be Arakath, a word that means sky in the Powhatan Algonquian language. The name Arakath reflects the inspiration of looking to the skies and wondering about the stars and worlds beyond our own, Stern said in a statement. That desire to learn is at the heart of the New Horizons mission, and we are honored to join with the Powhatan community and people of Maryland in this celebration of discovery. Astronomers used the help of three different stars to study Arakath before its arrival. When an object like a KBO travels between Earth and a star, Astronomers can use the starlight to study the distant target, a technique called stellar occultation. Arakath traveled between Earth and several different stars, one each day, on June 3, July 10, and July 17, 2017. Each event lasted only two seconds or so and was only visible from a narrow band of land and sea on Earth. Measurements from all three of the 2017 observations revealed that Arakath wasn't orbiting where it was expected, and, a small blip during the July 10 observation puzzled astronomers because it looked like MU69 was actually two separate objects. Together, the results suggested that MU69 wasn't spinning through space alone. Astronomers thought that MU69 may have at least one moon, and could host even more natural satellites. This might be the Harbinger, Stern said during a news conference at the 2017 American Geophysical Union AGU, meeting. It might hint that there is actually a swarm of satellites from MU69. The New Horizons team got one final glimpse of Arakath before the New Horizons flyby. On August 4, 2018, 
A final occultation was visible from Earth, seen only in Senegal and Colombia. This occultation will give us hints about what to expect at Ultima Thule and help us refine our flyby plans, Mark Bui, the New Horizons occultation event leader, said in his